Okay, here's a very brief introductory tutorial to the new rigid body dynamics within version 2.66 for those of you who might not be familiar with it, and especially if you're not familiar with uh, rigid bodies within the game engine as well. So this is a really straightforward setup. Here's the same kind of gearing system that I used in the previous animation, except what I did this time was I encapsulated this shaft here with the cylinder, and I created this cylinder, it was a, just a Boolean cutout in order to get it to sit there, hoping that it would make it more stable, but it turns out that it doesn't really do it. And in fact, I've tried several ways to stabilize it by putting gears on both sides to have it more even weighted. And, but, and then I even tried to put a third gear over here, but what I did, it went flying off into space and I could actually never get it to settle down. And even this, if I run this, you can see this is still unstable. Let's see where this one is. Let me start from back from the beginning. I don't know what version I'm running right here. I've, I've run so many tests right now, I can't recall. Yeah, this one was relatively stable, except right at the outset. Oh, actually, what's different in this case is that I'm running it. This particular one is a rigid body except I have the animation button set and maybe if you've seen my playlist of rigid body dynamics you'll understand that but I'll show you anyway so if you want to try and set up your own simulation they're a little time consuming and I can't really get the frame rate up very high but basically the gearing itself even my selection has gone down really slow I, something's really holding it back so uh, on, over here on the left under the, under the rigid body tools here for the gear I have set as add active for the plane down here for for these for the cubes that were bouncing on it from the previous animation I had set as add passive over here and also these sleeves that encapsulate here and as well as these little cylinder I mean, these cubes at the end these cubes are just trying to constrain it from moving away f so it can't slide out and those are also set as add passive but they're rigid bodies like this and the one other thing in this particular one this this gear here is not only is it add active but if you come over here to the rigid body I mean just to the physics tab and you can see where it's set at. let me get rid of this I don't need the dynamic paint in here I get rid of that I took that out as well but notice in the rigid body I have this animated button set for this one and that's because I set keyframes on this I'm not driving this with the rigid body particles that are falling down I just have a keyframe driving it and then that's driving this as a rigid body there's no keyframe on this one here I was hoping that would improve the stability of the simulation but not really I still can't get it to be super smooth and I didn't want to crank up the iterations you can come over here into this field here under the scene and here's your rigid body cache here and also your rigid body world and you can set these extra iterations and the steps to try and improve the simulation itself like that and so that's really the only steps that were required for the a previous video where I did the animation for the cubes falling down that was nothing more than me coming up in here and adding a cube to the scene having it scaled down in e edit mode like this it seems to be a, a makes a difference with rigid body dynamics within the internal blender and then uh, from here I just went over and pressed add active and that makes it a rigid body that can bounce down and then and then the green plane that it was falling down was passive as well so really the setup is not much to it the complication is trying to get it to be stable in fact you might want to check out an animation that was posted today um, user called I think I don't know how you pronounce it I'm guessing it's pronounced Saripa S-A-R-D-I space P-A-X is his U YouTube username and he posted a really cool gear video based on uh, clockworks and his is nice and smooth so um, that was really interesting actually it's much smoother than my animation so alright so well maybe that'll help you get started and I'll see you in the next video